147 miles south in Arcadia, Florida, all the fossil hunters joined together for their very first group fossil hunt. Second uh, shovel. Found sharks. Where are we at? Uh, we are in um, Joshua Creek uh, near uh, Arcadia, Florida. And you're screening? Screening. Using quarter inch screening helps to separate the sediment from the gravel and fossils. Some fossil hunters attach floaters to their sifters. I have a confession to make. Here I am with all my cohorts from Fossil Hunters, and I'm so excited to be here. And this is my very first time. First time fossil hunting. Okay, what do we got in here? I am the spouse at home who gets so excited about everything that John Sasha brings home. So I get to see the collections, ask all the interesting questions, but I never come fossil hunting for two reasons. Looking for shiny surfaces, uh, symmetric shapes, um, things that just stand out from the normal, irregular uh, gravel. First of all, it's his very private thing he does. He loves to just go off for hours. It, you know, we have lots of joint hobbies, but this is his personal hobby. Oh, in this case, these are just very common freshwater clams that are... So I shouldn't get excited. No. <laughs> okay. Not yet. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you when to get excited. All right, there we are. But the even bigger reason is I am beyond terrified of alligators. was a camel tooth. As you can see here. And it was found by one of our junior fossil hunters, Hannah. Up, oh, nice shark tooth right there. Perfect condition. Beautiful. A little bit of turtle shell there as well. A little turtle fragment. We're just getting started. We'll see how the day pans out. Nothing better than fossiling on a Saturday morning early, having a good time. That's what it's all about for me. I found a nice little gator tooth. Hopefully, there's no gators around here right now. So uh, here I have some uh, fragments of horse teeth. And then um, right here, I found uh, some sort of miscellaneous bone. We think it might be some sort of giant tortoise, but uh, we'll have time to identify it better later on. So I'm not sure what this is here, but um, you can see the little holes in it in the air pocket. So that does mean it's a bone. It has a flat surface. So yeah, and I found some other shark's teeth. There's shark's teeth. teeth. I learned a fascinating thing. Whenever you see this spongy material, that's bone marrow because you have to have blood in order to produce the shell. So if there's a spongy look there, you've got a bone. Huge. Huge rib. Huge. Huge. One decent dusty shark. One little shark too. Look at her, she sounds like an expert. <laughs> I know. And she's already she's already disappointed. <laughs> One little shark's tooth. I just found this. We're here at Joshua Creek, and it is a fragment of what I'm assuming is a rib bone. Um, not sure what it could be from. Possibly a dugon, uh, but not real sure. Uh, I just started um, a website that was for uh, collectors to just post their finds, and it kind of exploded. And now we have about I don't know, 15. Thousand members and half a million. I mean, posts. like 14 new members a day or something yep. like that. Yep. So, place for amateur and professional paleontologists to get together and share information, we'll collaborate. So, we got a small group of don osteoderm, deer, stragulus. A 
small piece of a horse tooth. Small three-toed horse tooth. Um, and there's a equus horse tooth and some partial shark teeth, tiger and snaggle tooth. Barely a meg. <laughs> That's a pretty good size. Yeah. Tusk. That's tusk. It's looking tusk. And, and there's like other bone pieces See, that are you know, Look at, let's, yeah. let's, let's put all your finds in the... <laughs> he profound all of these. Oh, that's a nice piece. Yeah, nice piece of tortoise. All right, nice little bone fragment. There are bones everywhere. It's pretty awesome, just saying. There's a oh, But I'm just going to say, uh, the water temperature is what? What, what? what do we think? 63, I think? Yeah. 63 yeah. degrees. It's, it's cold. It's a bit chilly. I'm Jeff Barker. I uh, have lived here in Florida, in Englewood, for 14 years. I've been collecting fossils. I'm a member of the Fossil Forum, and I've organized some trips. This is uh, the biggest one to date. There's probably 20 or so people out here, and we're out hunting a tributary in DeSoto County. We're having a good day out here. It's, uh, whether you find anything or not, it's just wonderful to be out in the river. Okay, we have an annual event on the Fossil Club of Lee County has our Fossil Festival. This year we're having it at the Shell Factory and Nature Park in North Fort Myers, Florida. We're the family here from Germany, Frankfurt, and usually we go fossil hunting in Germany. We look for ammonites usually, but uh, once a year or every second year we plan a trip to Florida to go look for shark teeth. Nice. Beautiful. Have you ever gotten any megs? No, not yet. No, no, unfortunately. No, no, unfortunately not. Bunch of turtle shells. Turtle shells. There you found go. 30 now, years ago. You did. Yes. You found. Here? In Venice. In Venice. Good old Venice. Good old Venice. And an alligator too. This is one of my better finds for the day in Joshua Creek. Uh, a nice lower mako tooth. Very nice looking. Cool teeth, Makos. Must have been a horrible looking mouth to hold a tooth like that. Ah, still in the same um, little spot here and uh, digging down a little further and uh, found some nice uh, size uh, dugon ribs. It's got some pretty good weight to it. Wow, it does. Nice size one. I think this is the largest one that we've found yet so far today. And I think there's more down here. Hey guys, I found a bunch of dugon ribs. I mean, all of them! I found probably like a hundred of them! <laughs> I'm gonna try and see if I can get them out. Kind of slowly and surely. National Fossil Day is a celebration organized by the National Park Service.